Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory. Um, this week we are working on a fin tip layup. So I've done tip to tip layups on several rockets in the past, but the one thing I've never actually shown you guys is how I do an edge layup on the, basically the uh, edge of the fin. So usually you end up sanding away the edge of the fin or you never end up with any material there. On this particular rocket, um, I, I'm bringing everything together and it's actually a 3D printed base underneath so I don't want to leave everything open because uh, I'm going to get close to mock with this rocket and I'm concerned about the 3D print failing which is also part of why I have covered the um, cord well the edge of the, the leading edge and trailing edge of the fin with uh, aluminum foil tape and so I've got fiberglass laid out and we're going to do a quick layup with two layers of fiberglass over this um, and then we'll be doing that for all of them but for the purposes of this quick video we're just going to do the one edge here. start. Alright, we're going to do this a little different than I originally had. I was going to start with the top edge, but I'm actually going to go ahead and choose to start with the back edge. Um, so, basically, I'm going to take a quick piece of fiberglass here and wrap it on. Then we're going to come in and gently ensure it gets fully coated. Don't want any dry fiberglass. So starting from the bottom to the top is going to help ensure that no hot gases during flight can end up inside my layup. If anything were to start to strip away, it will help keep the rocket together in flight. So that's the whole goal here, is to keep this rocket in one piece all the way through the flight. Don't need any rockets coming apart on me as we go. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and get that on there. Get the loose strands away that are hanging about and then let's get back to dabbing and now remember we don't want too much epoxy in a layup um, so my goal is to get just enough to wet it I'll end up putting in just a little bit of extra to ensure that it's really well held on um, just because I don't want any chance of this thing ever coming back apart. And then we're also trying to make sure we get all of those little loose strands to lie down as best as we can. I will sand a little bit on the edges to get down anything that sticks up. And I'm also going to have to trim some edges around to help deal with things. So, again, we'll give another layer up here. We'll start off with our top layer.
get some loose bits off that I know are going to come off before I start. Another loose bit there. Get some loose bits back here again. Alrighty. Last one here is the leading edge of the fin. We just want to make sure we get a good bit of epoxy down both sides to mark where everything's going to sit. And for this one, I actually did two different sizes of fiberglass. So I have a thinner piece. And then I have, and by thinner I mean narrower um, piece, and then I have a wider piece to go on top. So this base one doesn't come down as far as the next one does. Um, it's not by much, it's just a little bit wider on the next one. So. All right, now we're on to the last layer. Uh, this one has a lot more stringing that happened along the edges. Uh, it didn't really want to hold together on me, so you can see there's a lot of loose fibers. Uh, when I was cutting it, it just didn't quite like me. So. Bub, bub, bub. All right, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Made a crunch in my pocket against the uh, audio receiver. Wanted to make sure I hadn't accidentally turned it off. Done that before. Really ruins a video when you lose audio part way through the whole thing.
All right, now I'm just using some of the excess epoxy in my container to add a quick smoothing layer, uh, basically smooth coat over the uh, existing fiberglass on this rocket just to try and help myself out a bit and get as smooth a surface as possible as I can. A little bit more epoxy always helps with that. So, but that's the basics of the layup process. It's not very hard. You just lay everything on there and wet it. Now, the hardest part about doing these is that you have to stretch it. Um, as you can see here, I flared the uh, fiberglass on the front and the back. It's actually rotated because um, fiberglass will actually stretch because it's a fiber. Um, you can actually shape it to odd curves and interesting angles. So you'll just notice that it has curves throughout it, which is no big deal. Um, I'm going to be going back at this with some sandpaper once it's all dry to clean up any rough spots that may have decided to show up. But all in all, that's the entire layup. Thanks for watching, gang. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing how to do a fin tip layup. Uh, if you're interested in helping support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next video.